Howdy. I don't know if y'all been following along with this Life the World thing. I hope you have. I really do. But if not, spoiler alert, today is the 21st, even though you're going to be watching this on the 22nd. So I guess it won't really matter if you know what today is. Just the same, <clears throat> retroactively, 21st says, Jesus forgave others, and so can you. So y'all can totally forgive me for not reading to you in English last week. And that's, that's what I'm going to ask of you, is that you forgive me today, but for yesterday, for last week, for not reading in English. And also, so you, you can make a list of your grudges and then set a goal to let them go. That's, that's kind of tough. I don't know if I can pull that one off. It's like a long list. And they're tough to let go. I mean, they're pretty sticky. Like, reverse tough one. <clears throat> anyway. No, it, it shouldn't be that tough. Uh, so, do forgive me for, for not reading in English last week. I'm sorry. I'm sure you came to expect that, and that's not what you got. But here I am to read to you. Actually, you know, I don't have to post this video tomorrow. I can just post it today, can I? Today it is. Today I will post this video. Hopefully you will forgive me because I'm posting it Wednesday instead of Thursday. Uh, but I don't need forgiveness for that. I need forgiveness for not being in English last week and making you wait a whole week. So, forgive me. Otherwise the world won't be lit. It'll be dark. It'll be all your fault. So what did we read last week? Chapter 9, right? Alma chapter 9? So that's what I'm going to read right now. Why is this... Okay, it's not doing it anymore. Alright, <clears throat> here we go. Alma chapter 9. And again, I, Alma, having been commanded of God, that I should take Amulek and go forth and preach again unto this people, where the people who were the city of Ammonai, aha, uh -huh, aha, uh, Ah, uh, I think. It came to pass, as I began to preach unto them, they began to contend with me, saying, Who art thou? Suppose ye that we shall believe the testimony of one man, although he should preach unto us that the earth should pass away? Now they understood not the words which they spake. For they knew not that the earth should pass away. And they said also, We will not believe thy words if thou shouldst prophesy that this great city should be destroyed in one day. Now they knew not that God could do such marvelous works, for they were hard-hearted hard and a stiff-necked people. They were both. And they said, Who is God that sendeth no more authority than one man among his people? Oh, this people, not his people. I mean, I guess they're still his people. To declare unto them the truth of such great and marvelous things. And they stood forth to lay their hands on me, that came out weird. And they stood forth to lay their hands on me. But behold, they did not. And I stood with boldness to declare, to declare unto them, Yea, I did boldly testify unto them, saying, Behold, O ye wicked and perverse generation, how have ye forgotten the traditions of your fathers? Yea, how soon ye have forgotten the commandments of God? Do ye not remember that our father Lehi was brought out of Jerusalem by the hand of God? Do ye not remember that they were all led by him through the wilderness, and gave, and have ye forgotten, not gave, have ye forgotten so soon how many times he delivered our fathers out of the hands of their enemies, and preserved them from being destroyed, even by the hands of their own brethren? Yea, and if it had not been for his matchless power, and his mercy, and his long suffering toward us, we should unavoidably have been cut off from the face of the earth long before this period of time and perhaps been consigned to a state of endless misery and woe. Behold, now I say unto you, that he commandeth you to repent, and except ye repent, ye can in no wise inherit the kingdom of God. But behold, this is not all. He has commanded you to repent, or he will utterly destroy you from, the, from off the face of the earth. Yea, he will visit you in his anger, and in his fierce anger he will not turn away. Behold, ye d do ye not remember... The words which he spake unto Lehi, saying that inasmuch as ye shall keep my commandments, ye shall prosper in the land. And again, it is 
it is said that inasmuch as ye will not keep my commandments, ye shall be cut off from the presence of the Lord. Now I would that ye should remember that inasmuch as the Lamanites have not kept the commandments of God, they have been cut off from the presence of the Lord. Now we see that the word of the Lord has been verified in this thing, and that the Lamanites have been cut off from his presence from the beginning of, the trans of their transgression in the land. Nevertheless, I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for them in the day of judgment than you, or than for you, if ye remain in your sins, yea, and even more tolerable for them in this life than for you, except ye repent. For there are many promises which are extended to the Lamanites, for it is because of the traditions of their fathers that caused them to remain in their state of ignorance. Therefore, the Lord will be merciful unto them, and prolong their existence in the land. And at some point of time, or at some period of time, they will be brought to, to believe in his word, and to know of the incorrectness of the traditions of their fathers. And many of them will be saved, for the Lord will be merciful unto all who, ca who call on his name. But behold, I say unto you, that if ye persist in your wickedness, that your days shall not be prolonged in the land, for the Lamanites shall be spent, shall be sent upon you. And if ye repent not, they shall come in a time when ye know not, and ye shall be visited with utter destruction. And it shall be according to the fierce anger of the Lord, for he will not suffer you, that ye shall live in your iniquities, to destroy his people, I say unto you. I think I ran those together. Anyway. Nay. He would rather suffer that the Lamanites might destroy all his people, who were called the people of Nephi, if it were possible that they could fall into sins and transgressions, after having had so much light and so much knowledge given unto them of the Lord their God. Yea, and after having been such a highly favored people of the Lord, yea, after having been favored above every other nation, kindred, tongue, or people, after having had all things made known unto them, according to their desires and their faith and prayers, that which has been, of which of that which has been, and which is, which is, and which is to come. Having been visited by the Spirit of God, having conversed with angels, and having been spoken unto by the voice of the Lord, and having the spirit of prophecy, and the spirit of revelation, and also many gifts, the gift of speaking, of, speaking with tongues, and the gift of preaching, and the gift of the Holy Ghost, and the gift of translation. Yea, and after having been delivered of God, out of the land of Jerusalem, by the hand of the Lord, having been saved from famine and from sickness and all manner of diseases of every kind, and they having waxed strong in battle, that they might not be destroyed, having been brought out of bondage of time, out of bondage time after time, not the bondage of time, there's no escape from that, and having been kept and preserved until now, they have been pro sorry, they have been prospered until they are rich in all manner of things. And now behold, I say unto you, that if this people, who have received so many blessings from the hand of the Lord, should transgress contrary to the light and knowledge which they do have, I say unto you, that if this be the case, that if they should fall into transgression, it would be far more tolerable for the Lamanites than for them. For behold, the promises of the Lord are extended to the Lamanites, but they are not unto you if ye transgress. <clears throat> for has not the Lord expressly promised and firmly decreed that if ye will rebel against him that ye shall utterly be destroyed from off the face of the earth and now for this cause that ye may not be destroyed the Lord has sent his angel to visit many of his people declaring unto them that they must go forth and cry mightily unto the people unto this people saying repent ye for the kingdom of for the kingdom of heaven is nigh at hand and not many days hence the son of god shall come in his glory and his glory shall be the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace, equity, and truth, full of patience, mercy, and long-suffering, quick to hear the cries of his people, and to answer their prayers. And behold, he cometh to redeem those who will be baptized into repentance, through faith on his name. Therefore prepare ye that the Lord prepare ye the way of the Lord, sorry, for the time is at hand that all men shall reap a reward of their works, according to that which they have been. If they have been righteous, they shall reap the salvation of their souls, according to the power and deliverance of Jesus Christ. And if they have been evil, they shall reap the damnation of their souls, according to the power and captivation yeah, captivation of the devil. Now behold, this is the voice of the angel crying unto the people. And now, my beloved brethren, for ye are my brethren, and ye ought to be beloved, and ye ought to bring forth works which are meet for repentance seeing that your hearts have been grossly hardened against the word of God, 
and seeing that ye are lost in a fallen people. Now it came to pass that when I, Alma, had spoken these words, behold, the people were wroth with me, because I said unto them that they were a hard-hearted and stiff-necked people. And also because I said unto them that they were a lost and fallen people, they were angry with me, and sought to lay their hands upon me, that they might cast me into prison. But it came to pass that the Lord did not suffer them that they should take me at that time, and cast me into prison. And it came to pass that Amulek went and stood forth and began to preach unto them also. And now the words of Amulek, the words of Amulek, are not all written. Nevertheless, a part of his words are written in this book. Alright, so thanks for watching. And I didn't say this before, but uh, you totally should have hit pause instead of prayer and asked for discernment. And if not, you should do it right now, and then go back to the beginning and watch all over again. Because that's just the right way to do it. If you want to follow along uh, online or in a physical copy of the Book of Mormon, like one that I don't have on me right now, but I will when I start the next video, uh, you can follow one of the links in the description to get one from the church. If you don't want one from the church, you want one from me instead, and you want my testimony written in there on the blank page on the inside cover or just anywhere that there's space, whether it be in English, Esperanto, Spanish, or German, or whatever, uh, you can send me an email at truthaboutwaffles at gmail.com and give me your contact info and I will, or at least your mailing information and I'll, I'll send out a copy to you in uh, the language of your choice if it's available in that language and there's other links you can use to download the Gospel Library app which gives you access to the Book of Mormon, the Pearl of Great Price, the Doctrine and Covenants the New Testament, the Old Testament and conference talks and all sorts of other stuff and that's for your Apple iOS or Windows device. And um, don't forget to like the world. There's only a few days left to do it. And there's a link in the previous video, in the video before that, I think, where you can do that. And I'll put one in this one too. And today's all about forgiveness. So forgive me for not posting in English last week. And then go forgive somebody else for whatever. And that's it. Stay tuned and come back tomorrow to see the second part of this video, which is really just tomorrow's video where I read chapter 10. Alright, bye.